Hi there everyone and welcome back. So last Friday I was meant to get an order of Pokemon cards. I was meant to get two pin boxes and a Battle Stars Elite trainer box. Now just short of a week late they have finally come. Well, most of them. One of the pin boxes sadly hasn't come, which I'm a little gutted about because I did order it back in January. But at least the main boys come now so we can finally dig in open up this battle stars elite trainer box and see what we've got inside as always we are going to want to pull some decent cards something rare i haven't seen much of these so whether they're still ex card gx cards how the card trick works i'm looking forward to seeing it all let's dive in and see what we get so first of all we will open this up as well, this one's a lot easier to open some of them than the other. Oh no, it's got a bit of sellotape on. So I've never known them to have sellotape on, but apart from that, it is opening up a lot easier. That inside is so nice. Toy around the tire getting a little bit of love in there. Um I'm going to say that's probably one of the best designs I've done so far, so that was very nice. I know a few people still don't know that they open up for designs. So if you have had Elite Trainer boxes in the past and you've still got the outside of it, you can open it up and get some nice artwork. Some of them are really nice, some are a little bit boring though. We have the main box with a little bit of stuff I tend not to read. Couple of those boys, couple more, some dies. I never normally keep that. Couple of sleeves, card sleeves. We have a code card which as always will be given away at the end. This is going to be a code card for the whole box so hopefully you might get something decent off it. A lot of energy cards. Some really nice looking dividers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. We will put the box away. Might rearrange all that soon. What I may do at the end is open two more packs of the Crimson Invasion. We've still got 10 packs left, so um, depending on how it's going, I might just do it anyway, just to mix up a little bit. So we're gonna start with our first pack of Battle Styles. Opens very nice, no rip. We have a white card on the back, so touch wood. It means we're gonna get a rare. Two, three. I'm going to three to the front and hope that's an energy card. Brilliant. So that hasn't changed. And let's dive in. So our first card we have is the Buffalo, the Tauros ripoff kind of. We have the Level Ball, Spuka. We have Horsey. That's really nice looking artwork. That is. I do like that one. Good mini waterfall. We have Mankey with the single strike icon in the corner. Glare and Slowpoke, which I don't believe I have any of those at the moment. Bowmantis. We have Remrad with the Rapid Strike. Our first holo of the day is one of the electric Pikachu ripoffs that they have in every generation. And the first rare we have. Oh, I hate that. So if you haven't seen before, I'm not a fan of that evolution line, but at least it's a hollow, so we've got something to go on. Straight into our second pack. At least we managed to get white on our first one, which was nice, yep. Yeah, back to the green now, so it does show that they're not all gonna be white. Get the energy card fighting. And back with the same boy again. We have Crawdunt. Grumpy, that is a weird looking card, a bit psychedelic that one is. We have Galarian, Mr. Pedophile, Fomantis again. We have Spiro, Cotton Zubat. We have Cubo looking for his Mama. Ooh, okay. Hello, Lily. 
and for the rare we have the Fomantis Evolution Fomantis. In with a third pack. Where we have a another green. So one, two, three to the front. You put all that then. Another one of the crap evolution nines that I have. Oh that's nice. The absolute fat pig himself. The Rapid Strike Skull of Swirls, Bronzor, we have Tepig, and Hide and Seek with Pig Knight, Moon Boo, Baltoy, ah oh, the absolute nonces themselves, as the Hollow and the Rare we have Nonce Galore. Now, if EXs, GXs are still about, it would be nice to get one in these, as I haven't seen any of them yet. We've got another white card, so fingers crossed. One, two, three to the front, and steal. So we have got that. Uh, I did speak in my last video about doing a Nuzlocke, so I'm hoping over the weekend I should be getting a laptop that can run some better Pokemon ROMs and I'm hoping we should be doing a nice like starting next week. That's quite a nice one. And for the rare Yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh, what a pull! Get in! Oh my god. So we've got the single strike uh, Shifu. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I haven't played, as I've said in some of the videos, some of the other DLC. So I've never actually fought with one of these before, or used one before, but I do know that this is one of the rarer cards of the lot. So we can definitely go at the back. Get in. Sorry, I'm getting carried away there. So yeah, I'm hopefully going to start us locking with two friends. We're going to. I've had a little playthrough on Crystal. Did really like it. Lost some bad Pokemon as well. Lost some good Pokemon, which was bad, as I've said in the past. Another white. So I think we might be giving X and Y a try. And then between us we'll do like a number generator between one and three and then that'll be our starter. I think we'll probably have the chance of having the same starter, but let's have a the first time we've done it that we had all three in a wheel, then we could only have the chance of having one. But I think it's fair if we all do a number generator between one and three. So we've all got a fair chance of getting something at least half decent. We have Seedra, Fan of Waves, Dotler. Uh, so yeah, that is something I'm really, really looking forward to starting. It is so hard and I was lucky though. Um, yeah, it, the, the thought of having a Pokemon from the very beginning and learning it. Ooh, Emble got the whole lot now. And for the rare, do like me a Crobat. So that is nice. Yeah, the thought of having a Pokemon from the very beginning or a really useful Pokemon and it's fainting and you can't use it again because of the Nuzlocke rules. Oh, car, it's, it's going to be so hard. But yeah, from the YouTube channel, I'm hopefully going to be doing videos of it so everyone can get in back on the green, get involved, um, see what we do. I would like to have Frokey next and Roy because Greninja is one of the best Pokemon out there. But I do like Chestnut. Um, so Chespin won't be too fussed with him. Fennekin, I think when you look at it as a fire fox, he does look pretty cool. But the final evolution really doesn't do it for me. Uh, so Fennekin would be the, the worst one for me. But I think he's fire psychic. So the combination is very cool. It's just the one I'd least likely want to have. Boink, Glare and Mr. Nine, Scatterbug, the hollow is Fomantis and the rare is Grandpa, the Dragon Grandpa. We are down to our last two packs of these and then yeah I'll probably throw in two Crimson Invasion just to prolong the video just a little bit more. Back on the green again, one, two, three to the front, get rid of the energy card which is 
grass, leaf, and then we've got the energy recycler, the urn of vitality. Sounds pretty cool, that does. Doo -doo. Monkey. Glaring slowpoke again. Fomantis again. That rem raid again, but that does look pretty cool. Cubo pining for the mama. Bronzong as a hollow. What a nice looking card there. And the rare we have the Conk Boy. Down to the last of packs, we have only pulled one really rare card, but it's an amazing rare card to pull. So out of the out eight packs to get that, I am really happy. I'm not sure how rare it is if most people get them or not, but I'm over the moon to get that one so far. Finishing on a green, so not that good. And we've got the scroll, the khaki boy, the energy, mean foo, paedophile, silk cobra, bell sprout, sorry about that, onyx, green and jellicent. I'll just get the front two. So I think we've got eight packs of the Crimson Invasion left now. We've got eight packs to try and pull something good. We have a white, yes. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of the energy. And we have Gastrodon. So I've only pulled a couple out of round about 20 or so packs of Dawn. I haven't pulled many rare cards. Probably pulled about two or three. It'd be nice to get something out of these. We have Dino Dino. Oh my god, I didn't even realise it was a hollow. <gasps> Ultra Beast GX. Dreading that was worth the wait on that one. He can, well, obviously we get one more look at that. He's amazing. So he can go up there. We almost don't want to open this last pack now because that was a. That would be pretty cool to end on an Ultra Beast GX. But hey, we'll open it up. He's on the front of that pack. We have got green, yeah, you should look at the walls ahead. And we have the energy card. We have the counter catcher, diggers B. Anything decent in here for the hollow. We also have the hollow sort of rem raid. And the rare we have primate. I do like primate, but okay. Not the best one to end on, but we have had two really good pulls today. We have had the Kartana GX and the Urshifu, uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I won't really know. VMAX card. Oh, any day of the Earth first, you will be, well, either of these could be really good ones, and to have the favourite pull of the day, but it's such a hard call. Oh. It's gotta be the main boy, I reckon. It's gotta be. Just look at that for a card. Any other day, Cartana could have pulled it, but not today. Obviously, it's the end of the video, and it's gonna be time to give away all of the code cards. We also have got 11 code cards to give away. So we've got the eight battle styles, the two Crimson Invasion, and then we have the one that for the whole Electrona box, all to give away now. So I did, like I said, I was a bit gutted because I was meant to have these about a week ago. And to find out, I did have an email saying they was out of stock, which was a bit gutting as I did pre-order them two months ago. But hey, it does happen. But to not get one of the pin boxes I'd already pre-ordered, that was a little bit more gutting than, than ever. But I have got another one to open up, which I will get, well, which I will show you in a moment. The last one is this. So this will be the next video, get a better look at that, so it's a more Peko pin pack, so there's only two packs in there, um, so probably best to do the two packs in here, and then we can do the eight packs of the Crimson Invasion that are left, and that'll be another video hopefully coming out next week, and as always thank you so so much for watching, as I've said in the past, with the lockdowns going on, this has helped me amazingly doing these videos. So for the people that watch them, subscribe, like, it does mean a massive amount. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and keeping well. Thank you so, so much for watching again, and I'll see you soon.